everyone, I'm Leora Sims. Welcome to my channel, and welcome to another Lotso case. Today, Susanna is standing in front of Island Lava Library. Island Lava Library was built on a 30 by 20 lot space. The 30 by 20 lot space in Sulani that has the volcanic activity lot trait when you first open the game. It's the lot that has a more modern starter home on it when you first open the game. Now I took away that lot trait because even though I want to see what a volcano looks like in The Sims 4, I won't do it that much, and I have, I have not done it yet. Because I don't like to see my computer screen shaking that much. Because of my visual issues. I thought that the island should have at least one library. And when you first open the game, it does not. Sulani has a bar and some residential lots, and that's about it. But I thought they should have a library, and maybe there's one place on the island where everyone can get good internet, and maybe the library is that place. I think that I built this library faster than, than I ever built anything in The Sims 4. Because I had it in my head and I was thinking, oh, I'll finish the rest tomorrow. Because I didn't want to sit too long. And before I knew it, the lot was done. Out here you have some outdoor lights, some more outdoor lights. You have a base game public bathroom, which the, the Sims team recently unlocked, I believe. They unlocked a lot of the... Uh, bathrooms. I thought that was a nice touch. For this library, you only need the base game and island living. That's it. One of the reasons it didn't take me long to build this lot is because I decided to use one wallpaper all the way through. And of course it's this stone, which by the way comes in other color swatches which I'm going to eventually use. But I thought the blue looked very nice on this particular lot. I could have chosen a deep red. There's another lamp. You have a swing here. The swing, of course, that came with Island Living. There is another one that came with Seasons. And you 
have a trash can here. I kept the mailbox because I thought maybe that could be a book slot. Or maybe this used to be a home and somebody turned it into a library. When your sim walks into the lot, this is what you will see. This is a hallway. The hallway has a bookshelf. I had to make this hallway a little larger in order to fit that bookshelf. From the hallway you go through this other door that I never used before in this color. I don't think I ever used this before. I wanted to many times, but other doors always seem to fit better in the end. And I used bookcases that go on the wall to give this library a more spacious look. Let me put the walls up. You have chairs and desk from the free update that came with not only the desk and the chairs but with the freelance careers yeah very expensive computers here I also used bookcases from that particular update and I wanted to use these particular ones because they have plants on them and I figured that since it's Hulani, there would be there would be plants everywhere. Plants and stone and just things that look very, very natural. I didn't do m much landscaping on this lot at all, either. Now here is a door that I just discovered. I think it came with a free update. It might have even come with uh, the September free update that we got. I love all the doors that came with that. Um, you have a big version of some of the doors and a small version of the same doors. I and I just I use them all the time now. But when your sim walks through this door, this is what you will see. Here's some chairs. I needed these chairs here um, in order to have this lot categorized as a library. You needed I needed more seating. So here are two chairs. There are two panda toys in this room for the kids or your playful sim, your playful adult sim. I'm sorry, your childless adult sim. Here's a test table. And 
if your sim goes through this sliding door I had to include a sliding door on this lot but I didn't want every door to be a sliding door especially the front door but when you enter it you are in a very nice simple bathroom you have stone of course on the walls the same stone throughout you also have the same stone on the floor which I love I love that there's a matching flooring to this uh, um, this stone wallpaper if you need to use it and I have um, a couple of times already I put the mirror here I had a hard time picking out a mirror but I thought that that looked really nice it's a little longer um, it doesn't interfere too much with the sink you know sometimes you'll place a um, mirror right above the sink and it seems to interfere with the sink a little bit not during gameplay but just when you look at it really fast so here is a nice sink and a toilet this toilet will work if you are off the grid and it's uh, one of the it is I think the cheapest one if not the second cheapest one but when they added that off the grid trait um, they made sure that at least one toilet um, had the ability to work but they won't all do that I think they should but um, so that is the island lava library so if you have a sim living on the island who is off the grid most of the time but needs a computer for emergencies or you have a sim that's pretty poor living on the island who can't afford a computer like my sims for one of my let's plays they can come here and if I were to describe it I would say that this lot is at the very back of the island away from everything else. Look at how uh, different it looks than the rest of the uh, island. It doesn't look as lush. And when you open the game and you look at the starter home that is here, you'll see that that starter home has an outhouse so this lot is really out of the way now I'm going to show you the lot during the different times of day and in build mode because that's really important especially for this lot because I think there's some things that you'll be able to see in a lot of things you'll be able to see or maybe at least a few things that you'll be able to see um, in build mode that I can't uh, show you too well um, in, in live, live mode. mode as you can see there's a palm tree here for example but I can't show you the top of that without hurting my eyes so um, here's the lot in the evening light so it's got pretty good lighting because this is the evening because I've been building in this save file for a while so we finally got to Sunday evening here is the night light which again isn't bad because of all the lighting
And there's a lot of lighting inside as well. And it helps that I use a glass door or glass doors. doors with big glass windows in them I mean here is the morning light and here is the afternoon light this library has no lot crates I thought about a couple but I decided against it. And you see there's a big rock or volcano <laughs> in front of the library. And from the picture the stone looks uh, very gray to me. But here's the first picture. Here's the second picture. So you get a better uh, look at the outdoor bathroom, the palm tree, and the roof. And I uh, believe I originally put some glass on that roof. In fact, it may still be there and it's just hard for me to see. But the, I did use some glass roofing. I hope that you enjoy this lot in your game. And that you enjoyed this video. Again, this is called the Island Lava Library. And my name on the gallery is Leora18. Thank you so much for watching. Be happy, healthy, and stay safe.